All right, continue with section uh, chapter 10 on area and perimeter of um, polygons. We're going to talk about area and perimeters of similar polygons in this section. And we've done a whole unit on similar polygons um, and how they have a, a common scale factor between them. Similar polygons, again, the size doesn't, or the size changes, but the shape itself doesn't change. So let's just look at an example as we get going here. It says, on a piece of grid paper, draw a 3 by 4 unit rectangle. Uh, then draw three different rectangles with each similar to the original rectangle. Label them uh, 1, 2, and 3. Use your drawings to complete the chart. So if I'm going to say 1 is, I'll just do this off to the side. I'll just say 1 would be a 3 by 4. 2 would be, let's make it double size, 6 by 8. And 3, let's double that. Let's just make it, well, let's not make it too big. We'll make it 9 by 12. All right, so 3 times the original. Actually, I guess we just have 3. So figure 1, the perimeter would be 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4. So that would be 14. The area would be 3 times 4, which is 12. Again, we'd have units here. But we're just looking at the numbers to see if we can find some patterns. Let's look at the second one. A similar one to it, 6 by 8. Um, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 8 is 24. Perimeter doubled there. Area 6 by 8 is 48. Oh, the area didn't double. Quadrupled. Alright, 9 by 12. That would be 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 12 is 30, plus 12 is 42. And 9 times 12, I don't know that by heart, but 9 times 12 is 90, oh, 108. Alright, so if we look at the rectangles themselves, it says use the information from the first chart to complete the chart like this. So if our original, we're just going to say, I'm going to cross this out. We're going to say, this is our original. Scale factor from the original to the second one. Well, it's two times the size. So it would be uh, one to two or two to one, depending on how you look at it. So I'm going to say it's two because you're multiplying everything by two. Ratio of the perimeters is also, did I add that wrong? Oh yeah, this should be 28. So the scale factors is also, uh, the, the ratio of the perimeter, sorry, is also two times bigger. But the ratio of the area is four times bigger. Interesting. So it's squaring what the scale factor was. Let's say from the original to the third one. So that's three times the dimensions. It's also three times the perimeter. In this case, it's nine times the area. So it would be the rate, I guess for the scale factor, it would be q squared again to get to nine. And it's those patterns that we're going to use to compare um, scale factors and the ratios of the perimeters and areas in this section and, and work on rules based on that. So our goal for today is to find perimeters and areas of similar figures. So let's talk about similar polygons, polygons that have exactly the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. The scale factor is equal to the ratio of the perimeters. Those are going to be the same exact thing. You notice in our chart, they were the same. They were both, if it was two times uh, the figure, it would also be two times the uh, perimeter. So the scale factor of two figures would be A to B, then the ratio of their perimeters is also A to B. But to find the ratio of the areas, you have to square that. It would be the A squared to, a, to B squared, or you're squaring whatever the scale factor was. So if it was 2 over 1, it would be 4 over 1. 2 squared over 1 squared. Uh, if the ratio of the perimeters and the scale factor were both 3 to 1, then it would be 9 to 1 for the areas, which is a very interesting thing. Areas are squared because it's a square 
uh, two-dimensional figure, and their perimeters, their, their ratio of their perimeters, and their scale factors are also squared. So let's just look how that works. Here's in problem one, finding ratios of similar figures. The figures in the the figures in each pair are similar. Compare the first figure to the second. Give the ratios of the perimeters and the ratio of the areas. So to find the scale factor of each one, um, you can go backwards. So to, from 15 to 12, we'll say we're going from this to this. It would be we're getting smaller, so we're gonna make the the scale factor it would be 12 over 15, which is equal to you can divide them both by three. And you get 4 over 5. So that's the scale factor. Now, if you were to find the perimeters, the, the ratio of the perimeters, those would also be 4 to 5. So it would be the smaller one would be 4, the bigger one would be 5. That's the ratio of them if you'd reduce them. But the ratio of the areas would be that squared, so it would be 16 to 25. So you can see there's going to be a bigger difference between the areas because you're squaring them. Now if you look at figure B, we'll say they're, they're square, so it might be easier to look at it. This is 4 by 4, this is 8 by 8, so it is twice the size. So we're going to say the scale factor is 2. Or if you look at the fraction form, you could say 2 to 1 or 1 to 2, however you look at it. The perimeter ratio would be also 2. We'll say 2 to 1. To one. But the area ratio, you'd have to square it. It'd be 4 to 1, and we can check that. Um, areas of this one, 4 by 4 is 16. 8 by 8 is 64. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And 16 times 4 it is 4 times bigger in the area. That's, again, a proof of why it, it works to be 4 to 1. <clears throat> um, use the scale factor of similar figures in a uh, similar size A and B to find the perimeter and the area of a similar solid. We did that. Um, let's look at this. Oh, we're looking at this right here. It says solid A has the area of 64 and a perimeter of 32, and the scale factor is 1 to 3. So we're doing A to B is 1 to 3 means A is the smaller one, so B would be three times the size. So the area, well, the perimeter would be three times the size, so it would be 32 times 3, which is 96. The area, though, is the, the scale factor cubed, or squared, I mean. So if we were doing area of this, it would be 1 to 9. So it's 9 times the area. So whatever 64 times 9 is would be our new area. 64 times 9 equals 576 inches squared. It is crazy how it jumps that high. Um, but that's... We can check it with the shape. If we had the actual dimensions, it would work out that way. So we're getting used to seeing that um, the area is the same as the scale factor, only squared, the ratio of the areas. Problem two, finding areas using similar figures. We have a multiple choice question. Does the area of a smaller uh, rec rec regular pentagon is about 27.5 centimeters? What is the best approximation for the area of the larger one? So first we have to figure out the scale factor or the ratio of the perimeter. So the scale factor would be um, 4 to 10. We're going to do 10 divided by 4, which equals 2.5 times bigger. 2.5 times bigger for the scale factor. If you look at it, 4 times 2.5 would be equal to 10. Now... The area, the area ratio would have to be 2.5 squared. 2.5 squared is 6.25. So it is 6.25 times bigger. So if you look at the area of the smaller one, 
is 27.5, we have to do 27.5 times 6.25, which is 2.5 squared, to get our new area. So 27.5 squared times 6.25 gives you 171.875. And if we are approximating, our answer would be C, 172, we're rounding it. All right, um, some more examples here. Problem three says finding perimeter ratios. Well, it says find the scale factor and the perimeter ratio of the similar figures. So these are where it gets tricky. You have the, um, so we have the scale factor of the, so if you're trying to find the ratio of the, so we have, perimeters, and we have a, a squared over b squared to get the areas. Now we have the, the ones that are the areas. So we need to go backwards and we got to do the square root. So we have 50 over 162, and we want to find the, the scale factor, which is also the area, the perimeter ratio. Can't really do the square root of these. But I'm going to give you a tip. Reduce. So before we actually do the square root to go backwards, let's reduce this. You can divide both the top and the bottom by 2, and this would be 25 over 81. Going backwards, you do the square root. We have the square root of 25 over the square root of 81, oops, 81, which that reduces nicely to equal 5 over 9. So the scale factor is actually 5 over 9. That's also the ratio of the perimeters then, because we're going backwards. We're not squaring them. We're square rooting them then. A little tricky to think about, but I'm going to minimize that. Okay, let's try one more like that. So we have two rectangles with the areas of 8 and 98. Um, looking at that, we want to go backwards. So we have... 8 to 98. I'm going to go backwards because those are the areas, and we want to find the ratio of the perimeters, which is also the scale factor. But these aren't really square rootable, so let's reduce it. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to, I think we can divide them both by 2, so we'd that would be the same thing as 4 over 49, that's going to work out. So we'd have the square root of 4 over the square root of 49, which then would equal 2 over 7. So that is actually our, our scale factor, 2 to 7, or um, our ratio of the, 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 the perimeters, okay? Um, here's an example, same thing. We're given the areas. We want to find the scale factor and the perimeter. Why don't you try this one on your own? Pause it. And then I will reveal the answer when you unpause it. You can take a look at my work. I got 5 over 7 is the scale factor, and that's also the ratio of their perimeters. All right. Um, one last thing. Let's see if we want to look at this application. Um, if we have time here, we'll try to start number 5 here. It says it costs $3.95 to print a 12 by 16 color page. A friend needs to print a poster that is twice as long and twice as, as wide. At this rate, how much would you expect to pay for the poster? So if it's by area, looks like we're doubling it. If it's by perimeter, we're doubling it. We would double the price. If it's by area, instead of doubling it, we'd have to square that, that scale factor, and we'd actually be quadrupling it. So the perimeter double because the scale factor would be 2 times 2 but the area would quadruple based on what we've been talking about you're squaring the, the scale factor so it would be times 2 squared or times 4 so it depends on how they are doing this. Is it based on area or if it's based on 
um, perimeter would be t would determine the cost. So if it be, if three three ninety five either times two or three ninety five, oops, three ninety five times four, it's one of those two. It doesn't give you enough information otherwise, but you can figure out either way. All right. So that is a little application of this type of problem. I'm not going to go through number six. You can take a look at those. If you have questions, you can ask about those. Um, however, I have one closing question for you to, to ponder. It says, if the scale factor of two similar figures is four to seven, what is the ratio of their perimeters and the areas? Everything we've just been working on. And that goes back to our goal, which is uh, um, of the section um, on similar polygons, their areas and the perimeters. Uh, of I can find the perimeters and areas of similar polygons, and that goes right back with that closing question. All right, that's all for today. Have a great rest of your day.